Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining me for another episode of my Manchester United career on FIFA 19. Thanks for joining me for this transfer special. Pre-season is now well and truly over. It's time to get down to business. Now I asked you guys at the start of this series to be leaving your suggestions in the comments whilst we went through pre-season of players that we could potentially sign here in this transfer window and the response has been colossal and I can't thank you guys enough. Now obviously I can't sign all of these players and with me trying to keep things as realistic as possible for this series I only plan to sign two in this summer transfer window. Two players that I've been really keen on signing for Manchester. I've been thinking about these two players for the last two, three months now and getting them into this series, getting them into this team. And I think they're going to fit so well. I can't wait for you guys to see who they are a bit later on in this episode. But we start with Toby Allen Virold, um, someone that was heavily linked with Manchester United in the summer in real life. We thought he was going to go through as well on deadline day, but it just didn't ha happen, did it? A decent, solid shout, seeing that he has that Premier League experience. Skriniar, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Probably not, uh, but he was a name that was used quite a lot in the comments. So was Jose Melilla Jimenez from Atletico Madrid. This one I'm really keen on from Uruguay at the age of 23. Solid shout, as well as Manolas from Roma. These are all players that have been linked at some point, even if it is just speculation that have been linked with Manchester United uh, in real life. I don't know too much about Manolas, so I'm a bit uncertain about him at the moment. Alexandro, now I did sign him in my FIFA 18 career. I think it was in the third season. And I know United could do with a new left back, so I'm not sure about Alexandro at the moment. We move on to, uh, to midfield. Christian Pulisic, the American from Dortmund at the age of 19 would be a really good addition to Manchester United. We're in need of a, a right winger. I mean, Lingard can't hold that position down himself and Mata isn't really a wide player, although I'd like to see Lingard getting a lot of game time this season as long as he doesn't get injured. Another player that's been linked with United is Milinkovic Savic from Lazio. Love to see him play alongside the likes of Pogba Matic and then Finally, there is Kasper Dolberg from Ajax. I've gone ahead and added a few more names to this transfer shortlist. We've got Miralam Pjanic with an overall of 86 from Juve, the age of 28. Now Pjanic is a player I'm not sure about at the moment. I don't think we desperately need him in our midfield. Yes, we could probably do with one more player in that area, but I think Pjanic we're going to have to save maybe for next season. Have to wait and see. Rhys Nelson from Arsenal, good upcoming promising player. We'd love to see him battle it out for that position with the likes of Rashford, Chong, maybe even Angel Gomez. Would be would be pretty interesting. Meza Ozil, another Arsenal player on the transfer shortlist. Another player that's been linked with Manchester United. We all thought maybe he would have moved in the summer to reunite with Jose Mourinho. Uh, but it just didn't happen. Whether I go for him in this save I mean I did sign him I think it was it FIFA 13 towards the end of that series again I'm not sure about him he's mainly a, a number 10 isn't he? he doesn't really play out wide I've got a couple of Munch and Gladbach players on the shortlist including Cusance and Elvedi and finally we've got to look for maybe a backup to Lukaku or even a partner for Lukaku and I'm thinking maybe Timo Werner what a player even at the age of 22, what a player he already is. Imagine what he's going to be in the next couple of years. Last season in the Bundesliga, he scored 13 goals in 32 games. And the season previous to that, he scored 21 goals in 31 games. So not a bad record. Question is, could he cut it in the Premier League? Right then, let's get this first signing under our belt. It's someone I've been watching for a few years, ever since he was playing for Hall. It is, of course, Harry Maguire from Leicester City. He was, of course, linked to United in real life. And I was willing the deal to go through. I really want him at Manchester United. Still do. I think he possesses pretty much everything that you would want in a centre-half. He's someone that's not afraid to get stuck in. He's someone that will push forwards and is a centre-half that will 
take command and I think having him in the team uh, is is going to be brilliant for this series. It's going to be brilliant for United going forwards. We're going to offer him a five-year contract, which they've accepted. No release clause. And they won 71,000. Signed on bonus, 690 with a £1.1 million pound appearance after making 15 appearances. I'm just going to go ahead and accept that. I can't... I'm, I'm not going to bother countering. We've got the money. We're going to pay it. We're not going to be tight like uh, Edward Wood was in real life. Love. Name, Harry Maguire. Age, 25. Position, centre-back. Nationality, English. There we go. It's all wrapped up. It's all confirmed. Harry Maguire is now a Manchester United player after agreeing terms with Leicester City. The deal will see Harry Maguire playing for Manchester United with a five-year contract. Leicester City accepted a £27 million bid. And it's Marcus Rojo that goes in the opposite direction. He was included in the transfer deal. So not only do Leicester get a decent amount of money from it, they also get a new player. They also get a replacement for Harry Maguire. Felt it was uh, the perfect sort of move for a player like Marcus Rojo who I'm sure will get more first-team football at Leicester. On to my second and final signing of this summer transfer window. Someone I'm so excited to get into this team. It is Tom Davis from Everton. Some people like him, some people hate him. You know, he's a hard-working midfielder. He's hard-hitting. He's a typical old-school player. He is an orchestrator of the midfield. And him and his agent... Are looking for foot well he's currently on 47,000 a week and they want five year deal again I'm happy to accept that he's got a long career ahead of him here at Old Trafford so we'll accept he's gonna have an important squad role we're happy to accept that um, we're gonna disregard a release clause we've got big plans for uh, Tom Davis we don't want any team coming in and just snapping him up thanks to a release clause now his wage Currently on 47. We're going to offer 50,000 with a signing bonus of a mil. Let's just see what his agent says to that. Hopefully they'll uh, they'll go ahead and accept. I think it's pretty... He wants to be a Man United player. He's happy to, uh, to accept that. Welcome to Old Trafford, Tom Davis. Name, Tom Davis. Age, 20. Position, central midfield. Nationality, English. So straight away, you'll notice Tom Davis takes the vacant number 16 for Manchester United. My plan for Davis is to become the next Roy Keane here at Old Trafford. I honestly think it can happen. And, you know, if you ever watch Tom Davis, he's fantastic for Everton. Showing such great potential. His movement on and off the ball is just superb. You wouldn't expect it from a 20-year-old. He is already looking like the finished article in real life. And I just can't wait to get him in the team and getting him play alongside the likes of Pogba and Matic. It's going to be good. As I've mentioned in the description below, I want to focus more on youth this season whilst at the same time being realistic. I want to also be rebuilding Manchester United from the ground up. I think it's quite evident that Manchester United have begun to lose their identity of having an English spine in the team that we all came to know and love when Sir Alex was in charge. Well, it's time to bring that back and I'm going to be doing that in this career mode series. It needs to happen, not just in this game, but also in real life. We're missing it. That identity is slowly slipping away and it's a shame. Interest has been shown in Alvedi of Borussia Mönchengladbach, it's Athletic Bilbao that have gone in with a 10.6 million bid and that will probably go ahead, I'm not going to go after Elvedi now. We've had a loan offer here for Ethan Hamilton, the Scottish youngster. I'm going to go ahead and accept this, um, seeing that we've brought in Tom Davis now. We've got Scott McTominay still in the team. So there is confirmation Hamilton has gone on loan to a team I've never really heard of before. I think you pronounce it K Sarasipur. <laughs> They're from Turkey. I've absolutely butchered their name. I just know it. But he's gone on a one-year loan and I can always recall him whenever I feel like it. 
And just looking at that now, I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have let him go. I mean, it's a long way to go Turkey at such a young age on his own as well for a year. Just imagine that. It's quite intimidating, I'm sure. And interest has been shown from Man City for Savage. Transfer offer for Ashley Young and it comes from Barcelona. Barcelona want Ashley Young for 4.2 mil. That's quite an offer for Ashley Young, not for Manchester United. We could get in between 3.6 to 5.3. I'm going to go ahead and reject though. We need him. So this is kind of new for FIFA 19 this year. Defenders to watch in 2018. And of course they are well-known names. Chiellini from Juve, Hummels from Bayern Munich. Jordi Alba from Barcelona and Zat Umtiti as well that I saw from Barca. Imagine having that as your back four. It's just fantasy stuff, isn't it? Be incredible. Be winning the Champions League every season. Manchester United aim to finish top of the tree. That is our ambition this season. We've got to win the league. We've got to go for it and, of course, qualify for the Champions League next season. Harvey Jackson and Archie Hall. I'm sure they're names that have been used over previous FIFAs. Come on, EA. But they are on our radar at the academy we've got Patrick Green that's scouting them at the moment and he's going to continue to scout them so just to finish up this transfer special then we're going to go ahead and have a look at, at our team our strongest team that we could put out on the opening day of the new Premier League season at home to Leicester City so we're going to go with the uh, the 5-3-2 and this is basically my plan for the season ahead obviously Shaw's not going to play in midfield we'll switch those around Put Valencia right wide. So we've got a back three now, or a back five. It's however you want to look at it, really. We'll put in Harry Maguire. Eric Bailly out injured at the moment. Might miss the start of the new season, which will be unfortunate. Put Fred on the bench. We've got Rashford and Martial. Uh, it'll be Ramiro over Lee Grant as the backup goalkeeper on the bench. And that could be it. We've got Davis on the bench also. But I'm not sure about... Smallest position and do we have him on the right side or do we have him on the left? I think Maguire is probably best suited for the left side uh, Maybe we'll put small in more central and have Lindelof just playing off to his right But I think that's gonna be it for the first team. I think we're pretty much ready now For the start of the new season. I hope you guys are as well I can't wait to hear what you guys have got to say about our two new signings in Harry Maguire and Tom Davis there might be a few of you that are probably thinking I should have gone for players like Dabala or Griezmann or Gareth Bale. But again, I want to try and make things as realistic as possible. Making the sort of signings that Sir Alex would have done. I want things to be challenging. I think that makes things more interesting for you guys. It makes things interesting for me actually playing the game, you know. And if we do win anything, whether it's winning the Premier League or reaching the promised land in the Champions League. I mean, what a feeling that would be, what an accomplishment it would be instead of saying, yes, let's go splash the whole of the transfer budget on some of the best players around. Let's go and win every single game and score loads of goals and win every competition there is within one season. That'd be fantastic in real life, don't get me wrong, but when you're playing a game, for me anyway, it just, there doesn't seem to be much of a challenge there. And it would get quite boring quite quickly for me. I'm not sure about you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. How do you go about career mode? Do you try and keep things realistic or do you go and sign all of the best players? Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed the transfer special. Two new signings, Harry Maguire, Tom Davis. They will feature in the first Premier League game at Old Trafford against Leicester City. And that's in the next episode. See you guys there. Thanks for watching.